do 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 Hello everyone! My name is Gianluigi and welcome to your lesson this evening with Earth Key English. We have a very, very special lesson for you tonight. We're going to do a STEM lesson. If you don't know what STEM is, stay tuned and we will tell you just now. So guys and girls before we start our video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you can get more free content every week. Guys and girls, let's finally answer what is STEM. STEM learning is science, technology, engineering and math. Today's lesson, we're going to do a science lesson about the rain cycle. We have a few words we need to learn before we can start our experiment. Sorry. <laughs> so, are you guys ready to start learning about the rain cycle? Give us a thumbs up or a heart and let's see who's keen to learn with us today. The first part of the water cycle or the rain cycle is called evaporation. Evaporation is the process where water becomes water vapor and rises into the air. This happens because water gets very very hot and when it gets hot it evaporates. The next part of the water process is called condensation. Our water has evaporated and it is now sitting in the air, in the clouds. These cloud formations is from condensation. The third part of the rain cycle is called precipitation. It is when the air from the clouds becomes so heavy that the water, so the water vapor, sorry, becomes liquid. It gets heavy and it starts to fall. There are many types of precipitation. There is rain, hail, snow, sleet, and much, much more. The fourth and final stage of the rain cycle is called collection. In collection, the water has risen it has gotten cold and got heavy and become liquid. It now falls as precipitation. And when it lands on back on earth, it goes into the rivers and into the oceans. And these rivers and oceans and even lakes and dams are called collection points. So, guys and girls, our four stages of precipitation are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Right, I think it's time we got a little bit experimental. So let's dive into our experiment and show how the rain cycle works. This is an experiment for beginners, so please feel free to bring your friends and family and enjoy in the fun that we're going to do right now. Alright guys, welcome to our experiment where we're going to do a demonstration on the water cycle and the rain cycle. 
But first, we need some materials. We need a syringe. We need some food coloring. I used blue to represent rain. We need some shaving foam or shaving cream to create the clouds. We need a glass of water. And we need some water mixed with food coloring. Alright guys and girls, so now we have all our materials, we need to start the experiment. So we have our glass of water, now we need to make some clouds. So we need our shaving foam. So first things first, shake, 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 shake your shaving foam. Now we're going to create some clouds. Inside the glass, we're going to spray our shaving foam. And there we go. Now we have a beautiful cloud and the world's atmosphere. Next thing we do is we get our syringe and our blue rain water and we suck up our rain water. Now remember, evaporation has happened and condensation has occurred. We have some clouds. But as the rain or sorry, the water vapor gets heavier and heavier, precipitation will form. So let's add some drops of rain to our cloud. Has it started raining yet? A little bit. But the more we add, the heavier the cloud becomes, the more rain we see. So if we look at our glass, we can see the cloud has become heavy and it has started to rain. And this is how the water cycle happens. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and you can get access to free content every week. Right guys and girls, thank you very much. My name is Gianluigi from Earth Key English and I will see you all next week. Thank you and goodbye.